With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The graph shows how the magnification M produced by a thin lens varies with the image distance V. What is the focal length of the lens used? So first of all, you can see this is the graph, right? So, if, if you write down the lens formula, I will write 1 by V minus 1 by U is equals to 1 by F. And if you see here, the M versus V graph is drawn. So, I will write down 1 by U here. It is equals to 1 by V minus 1 by F. And if I write down the magnification that is in the Y axis in the graph, I will write down magnification is equals to image coordinate by object coordinate. So 1 by u, you can see it is this. So just multiply this with v. So it is 1 by v minus 1 by f. So it will be 1 minus v by f. This will be the magnification here. Now, if you see the curve again, in the curve, if you see the slope, this distance is B and this distance is C, right? So, if I write down the slope here, M is equals to tan theta, that is the slope, it is having a magnitude of C by B. And if you see this equation, you can see very clearly that the this if you compare this equation by y equals to mx plus c, you can see here the slope is 1 by f. Here the slope is 1 by f, right? So 1 by f is the slope and 1 by f is c by b here. So I will write down. 1 by f is equals to c by b and I will write down the f is equals to b by c and this is the focal length and answer of this question. Now you can check for the option b by c is a so a is the correct one. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.